हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक दिस इज क्लास सिक्स साइंस चैप्टर नंबर फिफ्टीन एयर अराउंड अस इन दिस फर्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग एंड डूइंग सम ऑफ द प्री टेक्स्ट एक्टिविटीज सो लेट्स स्टार्ट in this video we will be covering the activities to understand some properties of air there will be different activities with different materials and procedures activity 1 aim to show air as present everywhere materials required an empty open bottle water and a bucket procedure take an empty open bottle is it really empty step number 2 turn it upside down is something inside it now step number 3 now dip the open mouth of the bottle into the bucket filled with water step number 4 observe the bottle does water enter the bottle no in this picture which is given here we can see how the first step is need to be carried out we just have to invert the water bottle and then insert it in the bucket filled with water step number 5 now tilt the bottle slightly again you can check how the bottle is to be tilted does the water now enter the bottle do you see bubbles coming out of the bottle or hear any bubbly sound yes if we will tilt the bottle as directed in step number 5 then we can see the bubbles observation just you notice that water does not enter the bottle when it is pushed in an inverted position however when the bottle was tilted you saw bubbles coming out of the bottle and water filled up into it conclusion when 
the bottle is pushed in an inverted position there was no space for the air to escape and hence water could not enter the bottle whereas when the bottle was tilted the air was able to come out in the form of bubbles and water filled up the empty space that the air has occupied this activity shows that air occupies space it fills all the space in the bottle it is present everywhere around us activity 2 aim to show that air is present in water materials required a glass vessel beaker or metal container like pan water and a burner procedure step number 1 take some water in a glass or metal container like pan step number 2 place it on the burner and heat it this is how we will take a beaker and fill water into it observation just before water begins to boil you will notice some bubbles at the inner surface of the pan or vessel tiny bubbles in the inner bottom surface of the tumbler can be easily seen when the water is kept on the burner to boil same observation can be seen if we are taking the water into a metallic pan here also in the inner surface at the bottom bubbles can be seen before the water actually starts boiling when kept over the flame conclusion these bubbles come from the air dissolved in water this shows that air is dissolved or present in water activity 3 aim to show that air is present in soil materials required 
a lump of dry soil a beaker and water procedure step number 1 take a lump of dry soil in a beaker step number 2 add water to it do you see bubbles coming out from soil the setup of the activity is shown in these pictures the first one is depicting how we have to take the soil in the beaker and the water is to be added into it the second picture is showing tiny bubbles escaping out from the soil you can clearly see the bubbles coming out from the soil into the water this is the magnified picture of the second step observation when the water is poured on the lump of soil bubbles can be seen conclusion when the water is poured on the lump of dry soil it displaces the air which is seen in the form of bubbles this shows that soil has air and it activity 4 aim to show air supports burning materials required two lighted candles and a glass tumbler procedure step number 1 take two burning candles and place them on a table step number 2 now cover one candle with an inverted glass tumbler students here we have used glass tumbler so that we can check what is happening after the glass tumbler is inverted on the burning candle however you are free to take any metallic tumbler as well this is how we are supposed to place two candles on the table and invert a glass tumbler over one of the burning candle we can see here that candle a which was kept open in the atmosphere is still burning however candle b over which an inverted glass tumbler or 
gas jar was kept has stopped burning. Observation The candle covered with inverted glass tumbler blows out after some time, whereas the other candle continues to burn. Conclusion This happens because there is no oxygen inside the glass tumbler. However, the air, specifically the oxygen initially present in the glass tumbler is used up in burning. This shows that Air supports burning. If oxygen, that is one of the major and important component of air, is used up, then burning will stop. Activity Five. Aim to show that dust particles are present in air. Materials or for this experiment, we can say Conditions required A dark room and way for sunlight to enter the room. Procedure Step number 1 Close all the doors and windows with curtains pulled down to make the room dark. Step number two. Now open the door or a window facing the sun just a little in such a way that it allows sunlight to enter the room only through a slit. This picture is showing how we need to allow sunlight to enter into our dark room. In this beam of light, we will observe some shining tiny particles. Observation You will see some Tiny shining particles moving in the beam of sunlight. What are these particles? Conclusion This shows that air also contains dust particles. The presence of Dust particles in air varies from place to place and from time to time. Students, that's all for this video. I hope you have understood the aim and procedures for carrying out these activities. I would suggest you to perform any of these activities at your home as per your convenience. This method 
of understanding is known as learning by doing. It will ease you to understand the properties of air and to practically know the reasons and logic behind these properties. Thank you. Please like, comment and subscribe our channel.